Hi Libra, welcome to your February reading. Begin right away with a general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck, and I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card or two. Remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone. Always trust your intuition, and just take what resonates with you. Okay, current energy for February, Libra. My air signs. Oh, nice, Queen of Swords. So right away, you're tapping into your element. I love that beginning. You're feeling a little bit defensive emotionally though. I'm focusing on the water that's behind the bars. But other than that, you're feeling really clear. You're feeling the focus. You're feeling the higher perspective on everything. So that's a super positive beginning. One more card to clarify. Oh, sweet, the chariot. This is one of the fastest moving cards in the deck. So you could be looking at moving somewhere. I'm saying that because she's looking at the chariot, contemplating if this is the right decision. And I feel like that's kind of the vibe you're in right now. All right, let's see the pastor outside influences for Libra. Nine of pentacles. So you're... Uh, <laughs> You're wanting to become more independent. You want to bring in those coins for your material success. Ooh, a ten of swords. So you had to walk away from something, but I feel like this was in the past. You can see that you are actually happier because you walked away from something. So that was the right decision. And it's gonna bring you more abundance and it's gonna bring you more joy So if you were worried about that decision, you can let that go. Oh, searching for this. Got it. <laughs> okay. Page of Swords, Blocks and Lessons for this month. This is my card of taking the deep dive within yourself. Self-study, also my card of going back to school. It's about having those synchronistic moments and trusting that as you learn more and experience more that your life will become more abundant. I mean, what's going on today? The cards. <laughs> okay. Nine of Wands. Making me <laughs> work for it. So funny. So you're almost done this fiery cycle. Feelings of defense. Feeling of... Just not trusting fully yet, and that's fair. Because based on the Ten of Swords vibe, it's actually not a bad place to be with the Nine of Wands because you still have the strength to move forward and finish off the cycle with the fire. All right, your person or situation is seeing you as being inspired or you inspire them and it's also my card of connection to source. So you were inspired to walk away with the Ten of Swords and the Star card there. So that actually confirms that it was the right decision to move forward and to move on. Five of Swords. So I feel like they are thinking about you and having feelings of regret. You could both be thinking about each other right now, but I feel like there's no actual communication. All right, let's keep going. I'll put this on the Ten of Swords. Clear Quartz. So intentions, Knight of Swords, Five of Wands. So you could be this younger sign because it is the sword, so it's the air that matches you. And I almost feel like it's this way though, because the Knight of Swords matches the energy of the chariot. So you want to actually move away from the conflict of the Five of Wands. And I'm saying that because there's movement going this way and then the Queen of Swords is contemplating what's going on here with the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. All right, let's see. Message from the universe for Libra. 
Seven of Cups. Nice. So moving forward, it's about contemplating where to put those emotional cups and almost do it in a more logical way because it's above the page of swords. Letting go a little bit of the emotional aspect or at least having the balance between the cups and the swords. Pull one more though to clarify this seven of cups. Oh yeah, exactly. So right now you're feeling a little bit emotional. A lot of your emotions are still focused on the past with the cups that are empty there. So it might not even be the best time to make an emotional choice or make a new choice because you're still healing and you're not fully living in the moment just yet because it's above the nine of wands. So still focused a little on the past and being a little bit defensive with where you put your cups here with the seven. Okay, clarify. Couple cards, sun and moon for Libra for February. Oh, nice, Queen of Cups. So moving forward, I feel like this is clarifying that as you become more stable emotionally, letting go of the five and seven of cups, moving that energy up, embracing the water and your intuition and your emotions, you will feel more in control and more focused in your queen energy. All right, one more card to clarify with the sun and moon for Libra. Oh, sweet, the hermit. So going within, not being afraid to take the time in solitude and in silence to find the clarity that you're looking for. If you're making this choice here with the Seven of Cups, going within will give you that confirmation that you're looking for. And also give you clarity with the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. Whatever happened there that made you put a lockdown on your heart and emotions, that will be clearing out. So I love that for you. Well, let's do an Oracle card for Libra. February. Building your world, number 33. Creation, expansion, networking. Yes. So this, for me, is tapping into your third chakra with the 33, breath of fire, and also building your world by surrounding yourself with people that you feel bring abundance into your life and light and joy into your life. It's so important who you surround yourself with. It's so, so important. The five people you surround yourself with. You will just start, slowly start to mesh in energy and in vibes. So, so, oh wow, stretch and expand, number 17. So maybe it's time to stretch and expand your network and your environment, your friend group, your opportunities. I love that. And also emotionally, your internal world with the Hermit card. Not being afraid to go within and expand on the universe within yourself. Such a great message. All right, Libra, I think I will leave it there. Hope you found some clarity from this reading. Enjoy February. Hope to see you for the mid-monthlies and into March. Bye for now.